technology we use to study tornadoes help in the tracking of snow bands? Let's find out. I'm winter weather expert Tom Nizzle here on the south shore of Lake Ontario, the lake right behind me here. Boy, it's more than a lake. It's like an inland sea. It's 180 miles long and about 40 miles wide. And all the moisture out of that lake goes up into the overriding Arctic air mass. It eventually turns into snow and produces heavy lake effect snows east of Lake Ontario. That's been going on for the past two days here, and we've been embedded with the OWLS project. Eight universities participating in a multi-million dollar project by the National Science Foundation to study lake effect snow. Yesterday, we were out with the Doppler on Wheels radars, those mobile radars typically reserved for tornado research. They actually are able to peer into the snow band and get much more data than we've ever been able to get with our network radars. We also accompanied students from Millersville University who were sending weather balloons up into these cloud bands as well. We're going to get to go and punch that band one more time today to drive into it. Very, very critical conditions out there. Zero visibilities at times, so we'll be safe, but we'll get you more information. The goal of this project is to improve weather forecasting of lake effect snow. And that's going to be good for you because it'll help you better prepare for these severe winter weather events. I'm Tom Nizzle, the winter weather expert at the Weather Channel. And Matt, we're going to send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Tom. For all the continuing coverage of winter weather you need, tune into the Weather Channel or weather.com. I'm Matt Sampson, the Weather Channel.